delegation of South African companies is currently in Nairobi to discuss trade and investment possibilities. That's between South Africa and Kenya. Let's delve into the opportunities with South Africa's Deputy Trade Minister, Elizabeth Tibete. Elizabeth, uh, it's great to have you on CNBC Africa and, of course, uh, joining us there from Nairobi. So, so tell us about uh, the, the role that uh, you're playing as leading this delegation of South African companies. Uh, what, what is the purpose of this, uh, this uh, commission? Well, thank you very much. Uh, this is a historic uh, first of its kind trade delegation um, that has been initiated by the ANC's uh, Progressive Business Forum with about plus minus 40 companies and ranging from different sectors, um, your engineering, your energy, all sorts and agro-processing. They are here to make sure that they can then foster good relations between the two countries, business, and make sure that they can then see the flow of doing business in terms of growing uh, our two economies, but as well as making sure that we can foster the intra-Africa trade between the two countries because we believe that we must work much more within ourselves as African countries to make sure that, they, uh, that we can then create good business sense and investment. So mm -hmm. that is the whole purpose that we are here with the more than 40 delegation yeah. Uh, here in Nairobi. Just looking at uh, some of the big num uh, names that stand out when it comes to South African companies operating at present in, uh, in Kenya, you've got the likes of SAB Miller, uh, you've got Stanbeck, of course, Standard Bank there. You've also got uh, ShopRite, MassMart looking to, to set up a stronger presence in Kenya right now. So, so where uh, are there opportunities, uh, obvious opportunities for South African companies? Uh, and would it have to be uh, large companies making big investments or opportunities for smaller business? Well, if you look from the delegation that we have, it is a mixed type of a delegation, but with the majority of those that are emerging and very small business, big companies are still part of this. But as you know, there are vast opportunities here in Kenya in different sectors, but some of those sectors are the job drivers uh, that we identified as a country in terms of the new growth path, which then talks about issues of agro-processing, food security, engineering, energy issues that we believe that even those that are emerging or mid medium-sized businesses or small business will get a stake in terms of making sure that they can make a difference. And surely the experience that those big companies have here will assist then those companies that come because they are, they are already here, they have access markets, and we believe that then we'll see much more progress. And there's an agreement to have a reciprocal visit mm -hmm. to South Africa of course, led by the Minister of Trade and Industry, it can either be the minister or my colleague, counterpart, deputy minister. And we believe that this is going then to see the Progressive Business Forum really making a milestone out of this because, as I said, this is the first of its kind, huge trade delegation that is visiting this country in terms of pursuing our trade agreements and making sure that we can be able to work together. So we really applaud what the PBF has done and we hope that we'll see much more of these sort yeah. of activities so that we can really make sure that we boost the African economy. Now, just looking at uh, South Africa, it's a very important uh, trading partner for Kenya. It, in fact, is the fifth largest source of imports. So uh, you're looking at that trade balance, in essence, very much being skewed in favor of, of South Africa. And, of course, Kenya has pointed this out and said that they want to have more exports coming into South Africa. Are there a specific uh, exports or type of uh, commodities, products that you see an opportunity for Kenyan companies? Well, as I said, there are vast opportunities, but they range from different sectors. It can be manufacturing, it can be your machinery, it can be your food processing. As I said, we are aware that, I mean, trade is skewed uh, to South Africa, but look at it more generally and include other factors that in, uh, will take into account your investment side. Once you put that in, then it balances off the question of a skewed trade imbalance. And it is within that that we believe that let's come here with a delegation, they look for opportunities. Surely those that want to invest here or in South Africa, because as I'm talking here now, mm -hmm. there's a business to business meetings where matchmaking is taking place. Mm -hmm. Practically now, because those people will be able then to foster into what we are trying to do. So surely, to me, this is going to be overcome, but look at it in a more broader perspective, not just in a minute type of skewed trade, but look at it more getting in into the investment and then and the investment flows that happens between the two countries. 
from uh, from a you know trade barrier perspective, uh, that's one of the issues when it comes to intra-African trade. And as you say, uh, overcoming issues when it comes to just communication and networking right now. But are there various uh, various commodities or various products where trade barriers could be lowered between the two countries? Those are the issues that we have to continue negotiating between the two countries. And they, are, they, they cannot be discussed overnight. There are ongoing discussions as we do have trade agreements with those countries. Surely, there's so much that we can learn from each other. In terms of, uh, if, if you look just at the technology side, in some aspects, uh, Kenya might have moved forward, like your M-Pesa programs, but also in South Africa, if you look at the internet banking and cell phone facilities and all those things, those are the things that you can exchange on them and then learn from each other, skills transfer. There's so much that you can learn from the two countries. We look at it at a more mutually beneficial type of an you know, agreement that we have, and that is why I'm saying the Progressive Business Forum, I think they've done a good job in terms of making sure that they can kickstart these type of initiatives and make sure that our business people can interact, work together and make sure that they can then agree. The same way we say business people from Kenya can go to South Africa. That's why we are saying there must be a reciprocal mm -hmm. return visit to South Africa well within later this year or next year, which then is going to make sure that you can have that collaboration and matchmaking and making sure that the two countries can see business to business relations growing. And surely that will deal with a lot of these uh, key technical sectors that you're looking at. But if you look on energy, there are lots of opportunities as well. Mm -hmm. As you know, we hosted COP17, and oh, surely out of what came out of that, there's quite a lot of other issues. And the president, yep. um, our president, Jacob Zuma, I mean, um, announced infrastructure build, and as you know that he has been appointed from the African Union side to lead the infrastructure. That is one key aspect that will make the two countries to work much more together and make sure that then we leverage on what we have and continue then a good relations.